You know, so many people, especially religious people, they claim that there is no power in this kingdom, marine kingdom. That's what they think. And uh, something happened. Let me use that as an uh, example to tell you that me and you know that it's power here. A very powerful power is here. That is more powerful than me and you. SS power. SS power. Now, if, any, if this water swallows somebody, no matter how powerful you are, whether with Juju, the name of Jesus, uh, with the marine, any power you get, you cannot come here in this up to go and bring that person up. And now, this water have a rule. If this water swallows somebody, three days, the person will be under the water, under, for three days. After three days, then the water will bring the person up before the family and well wishers will not do the normal, normal rituals. Normal rituals. You understand? Now, without the rituals, you cannot still go there to touch the person to bring him out. Now, a particular pastor, somewhere during the during the answers, here in Oni. You have any question? Uh, yeah, yeah, Obibo. Uh, Obibo gates. Uh, what do you call it? Imo. 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 Imo, Imo River. Okay. Yeah. So during the answers, because of the bridge there, how many people come back there? No road. So people are escaping through the bridge, under the bridge, sorry, through the water. Then a deeper life Bible church pastor. A pastor. A pastor of deeper life. Go and verify. A Christian. A Christian. Born again Christian that speak in tongues. Okay. Something happened and the water, they are put outside and the man enter inside the water. The water swallowed the pastor. Do you know that the church member waited for the same three days? They couldn't go there during that period. They had to wait and allow the water to follow their due process. Then do you know that after three days, the same church people have to go and pay the unbelievers. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Uh, you are talking about unbeliever. Are, we, are you talking about uh, the worldly people? Worldly like, people. Like what the Bible says, people that maybe, use uh, alligator uh, pepper. Pagans. Kai Kai pagans. Uh, yes, okay. People that maybe they don't, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. instead of the name of Jesus. Mm, they don't the name of Jesus. I expected the church, the yeah. prayer warriors, yes. the, some pastors with anointing oil and Bible should come here and pray so that the water will remove, will, will bring out their own member. They, they couldn't do it. What, 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 what many, please? Are you trying to tell us that uh, if the church member, maybe the so-called prayer warriors in the church, they should come here and pray that, uh, I mean... Uh, it they is impossible they can't do it. You think, say, you come to water in the name of Jesus, and you command the water in the name of Jesus but, to but sorry, use what is water. But sorry, sorry, uh, the Bible says that, uh, that by the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. The water will not bow to the name of Jesus, okay. and the water has never bowed. The water can never bow. Even now, Jesus will bow for this water. I'm just telling the gospel truth. If you think there is no power here, if you think there is no power here, now I'm coming with a story. Then the particular pastor, the water swallowed the pastor. The church member have to give the water three days to follow their due process. Then after three days, they have to pay. I didn't say they have to. They paid the unbelievers. They use kai kai, they use omu, they use other materials, worldly materials instead of anointing oil and Bible, to do some sacrifice while they were sick at back. They, after the sacrifice, after three days, then they have to send other people and pay them to go and bring the pastor. Do you know the funny part of it? No. How powerful the water is. Me and you know that this water is more powerful than if water swallows somebody, you can't take the person to your home. You can't bury the person in your house. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, man of God. Um, are you trying to tell me that uh, if they should take the, the cup of that that, that lake pastor to their home and, and bury them, what will happen? What, what do you think that will, that will happen? That is why I'm telling you that if they think that this, the name of Jesus and the other juju name you think you have mm. is too low to this, is too powerful to this water. If water swallows somebody that is related to you or a friend, Take the person and go and bury in your home so that you will see that you have a counter with the water. This, do you know that Deeper Life Bible Church here in Onyibo have to go and bury the same pastor by the side 
of the, the river. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me, man of God. Are you trying to tell me that uh, that by the name of Jesus that this, 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 uh, they, they, they cannot bury, bury that man? They cannot bury the pastor in the name of Jesus outside the water. That means the water is, is more powerful than Jesus. The what? Who is Jesus? The water is more powerful than Jesus. Okay, continue. Because this is God's creature, and this is a kingdom, and God allowed the power to be. And if you want to, that's whenever we come to water to be sacrificed. This brainwashed religious mugus that doesn't know anything, you will think that there is nothing here, nothing is happening here. And I give you instance, if this water swallow a member of your church or your pastor, please don't bury the person here. Take the bed, the body to your home or to your church cemetery so that you have encounter with the water. Even the people listening, even you asking me question, you agree with me that this water, this particular water here, that they have never seen a man or a woman that this water swallow and they bury the person outside the water, outside the river. Yes. They must bury the person here. And it's the law. This law is not written in the Bible. It is not a law said by Moses. It's a law that this river said, if they swallow anybody, you must bury the person by the river bank. That means that means that has been a culture and a tradition. It has been a law from this marine kingdom, okay. and anybody that has encountered with water must obey this law, no matter how powerful you even, are. Even even the name of Jesus will obey it. You don't you don't even use that kind of name to come here. So when people come here to do uh, a baptism, water baptism, uh, even if you use the name of Jesus, that is normal. The same people come here to do sacrifice, whatever the name you use. But all I know is that all power belongs to God and no other power in heaven and on earth that is more powerful than the name of God, not in the name of Jesus, the name of God. So 